feel like I do paintings of neons and neons of paintings, and I use the neon to kind of, in a sense, advertise the painting. I mean, it's uh, it's uh, it's always a little bit separate, but uh, it's uh, it's there with the painting. Kind of. I mean, in my ideal situation, you have a really great experience with paintings, and it's partly because of the fact that the neon helps you into that frame of mind, the, the light, the, the, the ambiance, whatever it is. I mean, the first neons that I made were basically, before I even did neons to go with paintings, I was doing uh, sound recordings to go with paintings. And the, the, uh, the idea there was like to create a sort of elevator music or kind of a background music to make a kind of a different aesthetic experience so that it wouldn't, so that I wasn't with or redoing some old dream that I had of going to a museum and being really moved by painting, but I wanted to make some new kind of thing that I, that I wasn't familiar with, that nobody would be that familiar with. Yeah. And uh, so the neon became like a... I was working on neon for, for an artist that I was working for, and I, uh, I, uh, I, I just saw it as an extension of the sound reports, which were like a movie... It was, it was the kind of a mix of movies and, and car sounds and uh, uh, pop songs and things, things that were important to me that I thought I had to do that. In some abstraction works, you can really do, have your own interpretation of feelings. And in your works, you have, it shows that you have different roots, different ways to express your, about your paintings. Am I, am I wrong? Well, maybe. I mean, well, what I, it's what I keep trying to get back to, which is the, uh, you know, you've got to, when you're making the work, when, when you're, if you like the work or you're writing about it or you're showing it or, you know, after the work is made and somebody else is handling it, uh, they can have their own reasons why they think it's significant or writers will hopefully write about it or whatever. But the, 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 the most important thing that happens at the beginning, otherwise there is no work, is that the artist kind of has to somehow feel like, like there's something magic or some reason to be doing it. And, and that's a, I've learned that, you know, it can be a genuine feeling or you can kind of be sort of fooling yourself into something, but in any case you have to, you have to go through that process, otherwise the piece doesn't, it, uh, it's, it's hard to make something that, that has its own sort of soul or its own uh, identity. You, you have to make it come from somewhere, otherwise uh, it's just kind of like cranking stuff out. And I've, I've, I've worked so many times for artists and uh, they've been in every sort of end of the art business and uh, you know, so much of it is just crankety, crankety, crank and, and, uh, and, and actually with some artists that works because that's part of, that's kind of what their aesthetic is, but, but for me I, I want to have a sort of a deeper meaning or, or do something more, I don't know what, romantically significant or something. And so I, I need to have it, it needs to have a, a, like a sort of a soul.